Hey, Cook Hall Chef Kendra here, and today we're going to make one of my favorite summertime treats. We are making strawberry shortcake bars. All right, let's do what we do and make it happen. There's nothing in the store as good as homemade vanilla ice cream. Bottom line, I spooned some into the baking dish that I had lined with parchment paper. There's a little vegetable oil underneath the parchment paper to help keep it in place. I spread out the ice cream evenly with the offset spatula. This is my first layer of ice cream. I covered the top with more parchment paper and placed the baking sheet into the freezer. After removing the ice cream from the freezer, the next thing I needed to think about was the strawberry filling. I could have went with strawberry sherbet, but I already had made some wonderful strawberry sauce and decided to take that route instead. And it worked out beautifully. spread on a layer of strawberry goodness. I didn't want the layer too thick. Also, I wanted to move fast because I didn't want the first layer of ice cream to start to melt. After I got just the right amount, I placed the ice cream back into the freezer. Now it's time to move on to the last layer of ice cream. It seems like a lot of steps, and it is, but they are easy steps, and these strawberry shortcake ice cream bars are delicious. Anyway, I removed the ice cream from the freezer again and spread on another soft layer of vanilla ice cream on top of the strawberry sauce. I covered the baking dish with parchment paper and put the baking dish back into the freezer. I grabbed the ice cream from the freezer. I also got out eight ice cream sticks. I removed the parchment from the ice cream. I love parchment paper. It makes stuff like this so less messy. It was a time not so long ago that you couldn't even buy parchment paper in a regular grocery store. <laughs> Sad times. I also removed the ice cream from the baking sheet. I cut out eight ice cream bars with my bench scraper. I stuck an ice cream stick in each one. I covered the bars with parchment paper and put the ice cream back into the freezer. By the way, you can grab this recipe at chefkendra.weebly.com. You know I got you. Under low heat, I added butter to a nonstick pan and spread the butter around. Then I sprinkled the sugar in and I added a little salt. I worked the sugar, salt, and butter in really, really well. I added a little water and continued cooking and stirring the mixture. I added dry strawberries, powdered milk. I also added cornstarch and powdered sugar to my food processor. I moved back over to the stove, added some vanilla extract to the sugar, butter, salt mixture on the stove. I moved back over to the stove and added some vanilla extract to the butter, sugar, and salt mixture. I stirred the mixture around until it was dissolved. Then I poured the hot stuff into a glass measuring cup and gave it a final stir. I let the hot mixture cool. I whisked up the stuff in the blender until I got the texture I wanted. Now all we have to do guys is add the sugar mixture to the powder mixture, mix that all together, and we have our coating. I added the coating to a larger bowl and grabbed the ice cream bars from the freezer. I let the bar soften a little bit so the coating would stick. Dip, pat, or do whatever you have to do to get the coating on the bars. Get the ice cream back into the freezer and once they've hardened you can wrap them individually y'all these are fantastic and they bring back a lot of memories yo that's it for this week I'll see you next week chef kendra is out peace